Free speech equals far right? Hashtag not all free speech rallies. <laughs> Antifa and others, from misguided activists to malicious Marxist terrorists, failed yet again. A few days ago, they went after the Peace Monument, okay, titled the Peace Monument, because they thought it was a pro-Confederate statue, despite the fact that it clearly shows an angel stopping a Confederate soldier from waging war. You just have to look at it. Anyway, yesterday they came by the tens of thousands to shout down the far-right, alt-right, white supremacist, white nationalist, neo-Nazi, KKK, white, blah 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 blah, but they actually shouted at an ethnically diverse little group of free speech advocates that included people like Shiva Ayodurai, who is a member of the very oppressed, very marginalized groups, the Dalits, the untouchables the lowest caste in the caste system in India, which, despite being formally illegal since the middle of the last century, is still widely practiced in India today. I did a little video series on this, see the link below for that. In Marxist language, the Dalits make the proletariat look like the bourgeoisie. And here he is being shouted down by people who are bourgeoisie who say they are proletariat. And if you notice, this little group does agree that black lives do matter. But I guess they're really Nazis, eh? What a monumentally ignorant display. Again, by tens of thousands, including Antifa. Way to go, you morons. Wow. Going down in history as one of the most comically clueless groups of people ever. <laughs> Way to go. I hope you're gonna look back and be proud of this all your life. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the details. Saturday, August 19th, 2017, in Boston, a free speech rally put on by Boston Free Speech. Many people are calling it a far-right rally, a white supremacist rally, and so on. So far, all I have found is a very small group of racially mixed people with signs that say black lives do matter and an anti-GMO sign, but no swastikas so far. If you're like me, you've seen both media outlets and just people on social media calling it an alt-right or a far-right or a white supremacist neo-Nazi literal Hitler rally or whatever. Because if you're like me, you intentionally expose yourselves to posts and comments from people of all sorts of views. And if you're like me, you may even secretly lurk in Antifa groups in a clandestine manner. So a lot of people on social media are claiming it was a far-right or white supremacist rally. And I notice a lot of the media is trying to spin this too. PBS NewsHour, for example, has uh, titled their video here, Counter Protesters Dwarf Far Right marchers at Boston Rally. And in their video, they show no evidence of far-right anything. Look, a lot of media outlets, they know that people will only read the headline, and that's it. So they do things like this. I have not seen any evidence that there were white supremacists there or KKK, neo-Nazis, yada yada yada. I have been looking, however, and I'm still looking. I've been asking people all over social media for the evidence. Every time I see somebody claiming that it's a far right or a white supremacist thing, I ask them for evidence. So far, no one has put forth one shred, just a lot of claims, slander, and nonsense. So. I'm still digging. I'm still looking. Well, hold on. Stop the presses. Stop everything. Okay, I found this video here of the rally goers at Boston and, well, gee, what's this? A Kakistani flag. <laughs> okay, so many people out there think that this flag represents something like the Nazis or white nationalism and that's because you're the brunt of a joke, you fucking idiots! This is a joke being played on you, okay? They did this on purpose to show that you fucking idiots will look at anything and say that it represents Nazism. You fucking morons. This is a joke played on you. This is a joke at your expense, you tool. You fucking morons. I have a question. We have answers. The ladies and gentlemen, or however the hell they identify as on the other side, seem to be uh, rallied up to fight fascists. Terrorists. How many fascists are actually here today? Please speak up. Uh, one guy. One guy? Why would they fight against all of them? Why would they fight against all of them? We're not Nazis. We're just 
just annoying. My goodness. Oh, okay, so there, there you go. They're all Nazis now because they have a joke flag of a fictional country based on a joke, based on a meme, based on a joke. You fucking idiots. You people, you're the laughing stock of intelligent people. And you don't even know it. <laughs> I found the event was organized by this group, Boston Free Speech. Here's some of their posts. A photo of some of the attendees. As you can see, they come in various colors. And Boston Free Speech says, The people who made it through security assembled on the bandstand. We have this post. Everything is set. See you tomorrow. No weapons. We are a peaceable assembly. There's this. There are rumors that a KKK chapter will plan to attend the free speech rally this Saturday uninvited. We remind everyone that we are committed to a peaceful rally and will not allow anyone to attend if they plan to antagonize anyone or display inflammatory imagery. If we are made aware at any time that hate groups are attending our rally, we will ask them to exercise their free speech elsewhere. We reserve the right to dismiss anyone we deem antagonistic within our event. This was shared 53 times. There's this, posted August 15th. This free speech movement is dedicated to peaceful rallies and are in no way affiliated with the Charlottesville rally on 8-12-17. While we maintain that every individual is entitled to their freedom of speech and defend that basic human right, we will not be offering our platform to racism or bigotry. We denounce the politics of supremacy and violence. We denounce the actions, activities, and tactics of the so-called Antifa movement. Which is probably why Antifa says they're white supremacists. We denounce the normalization of political violence. We are witnessing an unprecedented move towards sweeping censorship that undermines our democratic system. We are witnessing increasingly regular incidents of political violence being used to silence political opponents. We are witnessing our social media and online communities purging both progressive and conservative content from their networks. We oppose all instances of censorship. We believe that the way to defeat and disarm toxic ideas and ideologies is through dialogue and reason, and that attempting to silence any voice by force of mob or force of law only empowers the radical elements of society and divides us. There is a lot of misinformation in the media slandering our name by likening our organization to those that ran the Charlottesville rally. This could not be further from the truth. Quote, I could tell you the march we had in May. That group pulled a permit. They worked very well with us, unquote, as stated by Boston Police Commissioner William Evans in a press conference Monday, 8 1417. We are a coalition of libertarians, progressives, conservatives, and independents, and we welcome all individuals and organizations from any political affiliations that are willing to peaceably engage in open dialogue about the threats to and importance of free speech and civil liberties. Join us at the Parkman Bandstand where we'll be holding our event. We look forward to this tide-changing peaceful event that has the potential to be a shining example of how we, in the city of Boston, can come together for the common goal of preserving freedom of speech for all and respect discussing our differences of opinion without engaging in violence. Going further back in time to August 12th, we are not in any way associated with the organizers of the Charlottesville rally. This was a lie and a blatant attempt at defamation by Brian Fallon on Twitter. There has been threats made against our lives already, and we will be contacting Boston PD. And there you have it, folks. I scrolled backwards in time for a while. I couldn't find anything that's really, you know, worth showing you. Certainly no white supremacist messages or fascism or whatever. Fucking morons. Anyway, let's move on. Now, I'm trying to figure out why it's being labeled a far-right or white supremacist thing. I mean, pretty much, it's probably because it was labeled a free speech rally. I mean, Antifa, BAMN, these groups are now openly hostile to free speech. And a lot of the left-wing media now is starting to say, well, maybe if you're for free speech, maybe you're far right. Um, how about no, you complete and utter imbecile. Any of these media outlets that are trying to float the idea that freedom of speech is a right-wing thing should be looked at with the utmost of suspicion and disgust. So I'm trying to figure out why they call it this, and is it just because it's billed as a free speech rally, or what is it? Well, let's have a look at who is supposed to speak at the event. I found these two different lists, and they are different, they're quite different. Not just in appearance, but in who's on the list. Kyle Chapman, aka Bass Stickman, is on both lists. But at any rate, we have Kyle Chapman, Bass Stickman, we have Augustus Invictus, and we have Gavin McGinnis. All three of these people are very often accused of being neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and 
so on. No insult to you, Kyle Chapman, it's just I don't have the time for it. But people keep saying that he's racist, so I keep listening to these videos that they send me links to, and then it's like, okay, where is it? And then they get mad, like, ah! Well, don't you just know that it's what he's thinking, or that's what he's implying, or... Anyway... I've listened to hours of Kyle Chapman talk. I can't find anything other than positive affirmation for freedom and equality for all people, no matter what color, no matter what creed or whatever. Gavin McGinnis, another person that I've listened to lots of stuff by because people say he's racist or whatever. I can't find anything. They say it exists, though. They can't ever prove it, but they always accuse. And then we have Augustus Invictus. I don't know much about him. I know that his name is infamous and that he's accused of being a white supremacist and etc. I don't think I've actually heard him speak, though. So I can't, I can't really say. At this point, I would be quite surprised if he actually is what they accuse him of being because, while well, they cry wolf so many times that, you know, you, you start to think that if they cry wolf, that it means there is no wolf. But I don't know. And I don't recognize any of the other names on these lists. But you know, folks, if someone accuses you of something, they have the burden of proof to prove that you are guilty of that which they accuse you of. It is not your burden of proof to prove yourself to be innocent. No, that's not how it works. People are innocent unless and until they are proven to be guilty. Also, mobs are in no position. They have neither the capability nor the ethics to decide such things, nor do journalists or quote-unquote journalists. You know, journalists have been proving themselves to be liars lately, especially things for CNN and etc. I mean, we're all used to Fox lying, but I think CNN is like trying to outdo Fox in the lie department. But my point is that if you are accusing somebody of something, it is your job to prove that they are guilty. It is not their job to clear their name after you throw mud at it. Try this simple question all over social media. How do you know that those who are accused of being white supremacists are white supremacists? This question will make some people very angry. If any of you, the viewers, have any proof that Augustus Invictus or anybody involved with this event actually is a bigot of some kind, please send me the evidence. Don't leave it in a comment to my video because there's no way I can get to all those comments. And plus, YouTube comment section is pretty messed up. A lot of comments get lost. Send me a direct message. Scroll down to the description below and you can see the link to send me a direct message, please. Thank you. But please don't send me claims, hearsay, articles that say this, that, the, you know, just, I want video. Something that is unfalsifiable. I noticed that on the schedule, the day was to start with an opening ceremony and a reading of the Bill of Rights and see Kyle's to the Nazi flag. Oh, oh wait, I misread that. I mean, it's a moment of silence to Heather Heyer, who of course was the person who was killed in Charlottesville. This is the website, It's Going Down, of course, the major propaganda arm for Antifa. Not the only one, of course, but a major one. The article is titled, Boston, Tens of Thousands Turn Out Against Far-Right Free Speech Rally by Unicorn Riot, which turns out to not just be one person, but it's a group of people. Boston, Massachusetts, on Saturday, August 19th, thousands of Boston-area residents converged on Boston Common to show that far-right free speech rally billed to include white supremacists and neo-Nazi speakers was not welcome in the city. Well, there is the claim. Where is the proof? In a major show of unity, the diverse crowd representing many neighborhoods in this highly segregated northeast city made it clear that white supremacy and racist messages were not acceptable. Y you may have misfired there. As of 5 p.m. EDT, thousands of people are still around the Boston Common area, and despite occasional trolls trying to rile up the crowds, overall there is virtually no openly far-right presence to be seen. Whoa, whoa, what? What, what, what? Well, it's kind of weird then that you titled your article, Boston Tens of Thousands Turn Out Against Far-Right Free Speech Rally. Free speech in quotes, of course. Far-right, not in quotes. And you conclude your article by saying it wasn't far right. Wow. So, you don't even have enough sense to wipe your chocolate off your face before you claim you didn't eat the chocolate bar? You moron. They title the fucking article far right and conclude by saying it's not. Now keep in mind, folks, it's going down is just blatant 
propaganda yeah. for Antifa, BAMN, and etc. Blatant. I mean, they call people who are just regular people white supremacist Nazis. I noticed two things about this propaganda piece by It's Going Down and the left-wing media outlets news articles on this event. All of them pretty much have something catchy in their headline, far-right rally or whatever. And then if you actually read the whole thing, and you get to the end, you realize, actually, no, they just wanted to grab you with the headline, and in the body, they pretty much admit, they're full of shit. Yep. The other thing I noticed, that, keep in mind, it's going down blatant, unabashed, unapologetic propaganda. The other ones claim to be news, okay? It's going down is the only article I read that didn't throw in Charlottesville in there to subvert your reason with your emotions. Every other news article I read, they had to throw in Charlottesville there. Yep. The the um, organizers of this event felt obliged to say they had nothing to do with the Charlottesville people because they don't. But they shouldn't have to say that, yep. but they have to because the media was saying that they, well, they're suggesting that they do. It's going down, blatant propaganda. They didn't actually mention Charlottesville. Maybe because they are not as sophisticated or as well trained to be propagandists, they're more amateur. But you would expect them to mention Charlottesville <laughs> and, you know, news outlets to be more honest and to not throw that in there to subvert your thinking. But that's exactly what happened. Now, that's that's pretty funny there. When it's going down is actually a little bit more reasonable than Huffington Post and CNN and etc. There's a serious problem going on there. So there you go, folks. Monumental fails going all around from it's going down to CNN to everything in between. Oh, it's a far right nationalist thing going on. And then it turns out it's it's not. It's actually a racially mixed pro black lives thing free speech event, you fucking idiots! And then, there's a crowd of estimated 20,000, CBS News Today says 40,000, PBS News Hour is calling it 50,000, whatever, there's that many people out there, these anti-free speech idiots! You have no valid reason to think that the free speech rally was anything other than a free speech rally. False rumors, not an excuse. Propaganda, not an excuse. Your own ignorance, not an excuse. The fact that you just believe hearsay, not an excuse. You're all guilty of being monumental idiots! You are going down in history as being against civil liberties. You were thousands of people trying your best to terrorize a group of what turns out to be racially mixed people in favor of black lives and free speech. Way to go, you monumental idiots! Ah, you morons! Could you just, could you just, could you just stop breathing, please? I mean, there's only so much air, and, you know, maybe you could just do us a favor and protest air. You know, just stop breathing. Protest gravity, jump off tall buildings, do whatever, you know. Protest reality as some sort of Western-educated, industrialized, rich democracy, colonialist tool of white cis male oppression. And jump off a cliff to prove that you are liberated and woke from the limits of the maleocracy and their objective reality. Prove that you are such a postmodernist that you can just sort of break on through to the other side and jump off the cliff and do us a favor. To anyone out there who is against freedom of speech for everyone, even for people whose views you find absolutely disgusting, if you are against anyone's free speech, you are sick and you need to be well again. So again, folks, if you have any evidence to justify calling this thing a far-right rally or anything like that, please send me a message by scrolling down and clicking the link to send it to me directly to make sure I actually get it. I really do want to know. If you have something good, show it to me, please. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you very much for watching.